Split testing and upsells, two things you cannot ignore in e-commerce. Hey everybody, welcome back to Subta Studios. I'm Paul Chambers, co-founder and CEO of Subta, and I'm joined today by Aaron Rhodes of Code Clouds and Jeff Rappaport of Best Friends Essentials. And we're gonna be diving deep into those topics. You don't wanna miss it. Let's go. One of the things we talked about in, in some prep for this, we talked about post-transaction upsells. Is that a big opportunity you think people are, are missing out on maybe right now? The customer is never more full of dopamine than when right after they push that, um, you know, buy now button. It's the, it's the prime. It's like why there's chewing gum in the shopping cart, in the uh, 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 grocery store, at the checkout line. Like they're, they're, it's just an easy thing to do. Like it's the easiest time to, to get the customer to purchase more. So we offer them more of the same product that they just bought at varying quantities and prices. Um, first thing we do is say congratulations, and then we offer them more of the same product that they just committed to, uh, that they just decided to buy at an even better price. Um, and we don't offer those on subscription. It's it's really just for people who want to stock up. You know, Some people want to have more than one unit of, of what they just bought in their cabinet. And um, yeah, it really moves the needle. So we're, we're getting 30 to 40% of our average order value on day one from these uh, post transaction upsells. You know, running your business, is this something you've been experimenting with in, in, in trying out there? Oh yeah, when we launched, it's the first thing we started testing. Um, an additional two units of the same thing they bought on day one versus an additional six units. Um, both of these are extremely discounted. So we, we gave them a 45% discount uh, per unit. And so the question is, do we get 40% of, of buyers of, of the original product to take 20, I'm sorry, to take two, or do we get 20% of buyers to take six? And we just turned that off. We just figured out that it was it was the two that, that beat it. Um, in my last business, um, which was human supplements, uh, six beat every, every time. Um, enough people picked up six. Yeah. Um, for like 120 bucks. So our, our average order value is around $60 and we were getting yeah, more than 20% of people were taking the the um, buy six for, for 120, but it didn't work for us here in PET. Do you like doing the, the split testing uh, side by side or do you find it better to run a test, collect some data, maybe incre make incremental improvements and then keep going from there? Always side by side. Um, it's a famous philosopher said, you never step in the same river twice. Um, you know, time is always moving by. So I, I don't, I, I, I don't think you get a, a true, you don't get good results unless you're a B testing, um, as evenly as possible at the same time of, of life. And, and Aaron, in your experience and what your, your team is seeing out there and implementing, uh, not only for Jeff and what they're doing, are, are you seeing same similar results of you know, running split tests, really getting to those answers as quickly as possible? Absolutely. A lot of our clients are consistently doing split testing and um, they do it for a reason because you want to make sure that you're marketing the way you should be to maximize every purchase. Thank you both so much for being here today. Uh, I, I love having conversations like this because it's so impactful to so many different businesses. And, and thank you for opening up the doors a little bit, sharing more about your businesses and insight and for being such great parts of our community. Truly appreciate it. Thank you. We appreciate Thanks, all you do.